M0FXB, welcome to my channel and my videos on the ICOM ID52. FXB, thought I'd just do a video showing you the 705 and the, the new ICOM 52 in DR mode. So uh, let's look at one at a time. So you've got the usual DR mode, used reflector, and they're both on the open spot three. And then you've got the, the waterfall scope. And this is your GPS information that's coming in um, on both radios. You can see that the 705 hasn't quite got a lock yet. And I will say that the 52 does get a GPS lock quicker. Now to, to remove the, you know, the, the GPS pop-up, you can tap it or hit back. Yeah, I hit back actually. On the 52, you just hit the enter screen. So you can see the waterfall scope. I'll just show you close up. Now, if I expand the waterfall scope on the 705 and then zoom in for you, you can see the quality of the of the waterfall scope. And you can actually change it and make it and see a wider band. But I'm keeping it narrow at the moment. Now let's look at the 52. So that's the way it looks like when you're on the 52 and there's a GPS coming in, hit enter. That's nice. So you can see it's a bit, it's quite a pixelated kind of hate, you know, um, waterfall. So let's look back at the, uh, the 705. So the 705 is, it's better. It's, it's definitely a better quality screen and you can expand it as well. So there's, where you can expand either the scope or the text. So we hit expand there, there you go. And uh, let's just show you how you can play with these here. Just go to number one and go span. Look, it's showing almost like a zoomed in version. Hit again. It looks best when it's about, I'd say about there. Now there are settings on the 52 to change what you see, but I can't get it to, to do that. So that's the 705. So we're back on the 52. So on the 52, when the scope's running, you can go, you can hit quick, the quick button at the bottom here, and go to scope mode. And you could, let's, we're on center, let's do scroll fix. And um, when you're in this mode, it's showing, because we're not in the center, so it's showing it here. If we start to turn the channel, it's going to take us off of our open spot. But that we could, if we were in uh, VFO mode, let's hold down DR, we can scroll. See that the way we can just scroll when you can do it in memory and VFO. So we're in memory there, so we hit VFO. And you can scroll. Put the scope back on. There you go. And now we're scrolling. There you go. We also need a signal to uh, to see, but you can see how you can scroll. Let's go back to DR mode. Hold down DR, and we're back in DR mode, and we can go scope. Quick button scope mode, and we can go fixed. And then you'll see that. Now that's showing a wider part of the band. You can see other stations coming in there on that. We'll look at the menu for the scope. Go menu, go to settings. And we'll go to scope there. And then you've got quite an extensive menu there. Display steps, it's 15 or 20. Water funk, you can turn the funk waterfall off. Speed, fast. Fix mode. AF output. So there are other settings. Let's just try something I tried before when I change the steps. So see if that changes the waterfall. So all you turn the scope off, go VFO twice, scope's off. 
Then go to quick and change. Go to steps. See if we can find steps. Might have to come out of DR mode. So we we'll go back. Come out of DR mode. Then we'll go quick and then we'll go up to TS. Hit, hit the right and we'll change the steps to. Let's go to a wider one. Let's go to 50 kilohertz. Now let's go back in DR mode. And let's hit menu and scope. See if that changes anything. Yeah, I think it does. It's, it's, I think it's showing a, a wider, you know, coverage. Let's just go quick. Quick. Scope mode. And let's do center. Yeah, I think it's showing more of the band when you do that. So let's just change those steps again. So we'll come out of waterfall. Go menu. Quick, no, quick again. Sorry about this. Come out of DR mode. Go quick. Steps. To the right. Let's go really wide. Let's go... We could try auto actually. Well, let's do 200. Go back into DR mode. Like so. And then we're going to turn on the scoop. Scoop. I think it does change it. So let's try auto. So we'll come out. Quick. Scope mode, actually no, that's the wrong one. Quick, we want the steps, frequency steps. Turn off the scope first. Quick step. Then steps, let's go to auto. Let's select auto. Now let's do scope. And see what we see now. We'll turn back onto DR mode, hold down DR here. We can have a listen this time. I mean, the audio is excellent on the 52. So that's the way it looks. Let's go back to the 705. So there's the 705. We'll turn up the volume so you can hear it. Well, I have to find another ICOM 7000. Again, sounds excellent. So what we'll do, I'll just show you DR mode. So it's the same as the 52, you've got use reflector on the top and you can tap it on this, like so, and you can select local CQ, gateway CQ, your call sign, a reflector, RX history, TX history, direct input for UR, direct input repeater. Let's just go back and then we'll show you what that does on the 52. So on the 52, you would select upwards with your toggle. Then you'd enter, hit the enter, use reflector. Let's go at the top. So local CQ, gateway CQ, your call sign, reflector, RX history, TX history, direct input UR, direct input RPT. So that's virtually the same, I would say. Go back. Let's just select the most common one. So we'll hit enter again and we'll go to reflector and if you look on reflector let's go to link re to reflector you've got the direct input option there and in that option you can select ref xrf dcs and that's very handy the older 51s didn't do that so let's just show you that on the 705 and if you notice the 705 still hasn't got a lock yet but anyway, um, tap use reflector. So obviously it's touch screen. We'll tap reflector this time. And we'll, we've got use reflector, link to reflector, unlink, repeater information. Let's just find direct input. So try again, use reflector. Then it's reflector. Link to reflector. Direct input. And there it is again. Obviously it looks very good on a larger screen
Right. Sorry about that. So, with the large toggle, look. I'll just go back a bit. I can change that here. XRF, DCS, and XLX. And that's obviously very handy. Let's go back. If you want to do your call sign, go to, under Gateway CQ, go to your call sign. And then you can add them all here. Same goes for the 52. Let's go back to the 52. Go back. Let's go to your call sign. And here there's some previously added ones. As you can see. So very similar in, in DR mode. Both radios are very similar. Interestingly, still no lock on the 705. So that tells you how good the 52 is on its GPS lock. But you've still got all the same information. You've got the pop-ups coming through. They're more colorful. Um, it's a shame we haven't got a GPS lock because if you look on the 52, I can go, I, we can look at the pop-ups that are coming in. We can look at the GPS info. Now let's see if it will let me do that when the scope's on. So we'll hit quick. GPS information that you've got the satellites coming in there. Now you do get that on the 705. Normally you can just tap the GPS emblem and it will show. But, um, and there's the satellites. But they're in black and white because we haven't, we haven't got a lock, but it does do it. And then we'll, on this, we'll go back on here, like so, GPS position, and there's the position. That's your pop-up that the other station will see when you when you've turned on DPRS. How do you turn on DPRS? Well, on the 705, you literally just tap the DV, DPRS, on or off. On the 705, you have to go menu, GPS, down to TX mode, and then you have to select DPRS. Uh, TX format, or you can change your TX format. But anyway, it's on, so. Now the bottom section where it says open spot three, you're basically selecting either your hotspot or a repeater or gateway. Now you can, in DR menu, have normal analog FM repeaters links as well you can program them in but generally we're using it for our hotspot and repeaters so let's tap it on 705 and then we can we've got a choice here we can do a search for a near repeater you can choose all repeaters dv or fm so let's choose all and then it will find the ones near you and it remembers the lock or there is a memory file that you can load into the radio and it will remember and it will choose the one near you. So if I tap that one now, it's put it there at the bottom. That's my hotspot. And if I show you on the 70, on the 52, go back. So we're, we're still on the open spot. So we've got to move using the toggle, go down to the from section, hit enter. And then we can go near repeater, we'll choose all and it's searching. And look, it's done the same thing. And we can select one of them. And it's put in Western Supermare. Or we can select it again. And what's quite handy is you can, well, you could select your repeater list. Let's just show you that on both. Like so, repeat, and look, you've got your repeater list on both. And you can edit and change these, but that's for another video. So let's go back. back on this while you can use the VFO or you can go back here now on the 52 you don't you don't have to show the scope you can show the GPS I'll show you how to do that so we're in DR mode we'll come out of scope hold down this button for DR mode turn the scope off and we're showing the date here if you go menu set go down to display display like so and then we're looking for one that says single display 
display, single display, there it is there, and you can go GPS information, back out, and look, you're showing your, you're permanently showing your GPS. Now, I can't see you can do that on 7 or 5, maybe you can, but anyway, you can tap this anytime you want, you know, at the top there, the GPS. Now, both of these have, have SD cards, so with both of these, you can load your CSV file for your repeater list. On the 705 you go menu and you're looking for the SD card. Go to set SD card and then look you get options here to load settings, save settings, save from, import, export, um, SD card info and, and, and other, other, other things. But the main thing is but even your firmware. But the main thing is, and you actually upgrade the firmware for the tuner in this using this SD card apparently. The main thing is you can import and export on CSV files, load CSV files and save settings. Now look on the 52 go to menu, set, we'll go down to the SD card. And again, look, load settings, save settings, save for our form. Import, export, opening picture. Yeah, they both can do an opening picture. SD card info. Screen capture. Yeah, they both do screen captures. TXRX picture view. There's, our, there's some old pictures that I've, I've done. <laughs> All right, firmware update is very similar on both radios, format and unmounting your SD card. So, you know, from a functionality point of view, I think that the 52 is is in DR mode and memory mode, VFO mode, for VHF, UHF, very similar. They both display the time. They're both displaying the SD cards. We're still waiting for a lock on the 705. The funny thing is, if I move it one foot to the right or left or back, it will just suddenly get a lock. So, oh, look, we might even have a lock finally. There you go. We actually have a lock. And let's do them both at the same time. Let's just go like so. Yeah, there you go. Like twins. And that does look nice, doesn't it? On both radios. For me, the perfect situation is if you've got a 7300 here for HF, and then you've got the 52, which is like two D Star radios because it receives D Star on A and B band. Um, at the same time, so it's like having two D Star radios. So a, a 52 next to an ICOM 7300 to me is the perfect setup. Let's back out of that. So the CD button here and then the back button here. So I think that's the buy. I mean, there's a lot more to DR mode anyway. Um, the main thing that I would say is I wish they'd made a higher definition scope waterfall scope for the 52 i'm sure they could have done it quite easily um maybe they can still compare because when you can put it to the, next to a 705 or a 7300 the, the, the scope you know is a bit disappointing but still fun and usable but disappointing and just remember that the 52 is a dual band radio um you can only hear li look at and listen to one band on the 705 you can mess around with memory settings to effectively make it dual watch um, so in summary dr mode which i think is excellent uh, will work well and does work well on both of these radios you're you are buying the the the, the most the, you know the most advanced radios on the market at the moment and they are great fun but yeah they cost a lot of money so thanks very much for watching. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe my channel. 7-3, all the best. Wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from M0FXB. 7-3, all the best.